We share this planet with millions of species who all, like us, depend on it. Through a year of intimate underwater experiences, I've connected with many of these magnificent species. My time beneath the sea has given me a profound appreciation for the elaborate complexities of our mother ocean. It's now my obligation to tell her story, to share what I've learned. I'm Stefan Andrews, and I've had the good fortune to be invited on an underwater adventure to join forces with passionate individuals and their teams to explore our critical connection with the ocean and accelerate our understanding and protection of our world underwater. Seven billion humans live on this planet. All of us are stressing the limits of our mother ocean. The pressure is global. Even the most remote and spectacular sites are threatened. Seafood trade has come through the whole of Indonesia, including here, and they would target particularly spawning aggregations, and they're extremely susceptible then to being fished out. And that more or less has happened. It happened here 15, 20 years ago already. And now people know they had a good time, they made a lot of money, and it's gone, it's gone, it's gone. prediction that the scientists say is that we will run out of edible fish around 2048 and at that point there will be dire consequences for this planet. One fifth to one sixth of the population that doesn't have electricity that relies on what they catch that day to eat are going to starve to death if we don't change our consumptive practices because if we don't there won't be anything left. We're running out of time, out of time, out of time. Western societies have choices. Not everyone has. It is a thing around choice, and so many people do not have that choice. Many of us in developed countries, we have choices, and we should make those choices carefully for everybody, not just for our own instant gratification. short time that I've been diving, I've come to recognize, like all of you, that our rapidly changing world is facing a tsunami of environmental challenges. In our throwaway single-use societies, plastic has a dark side. Plastic pollution washes up every day. From plastic bags to pesticides, it all ends up in the ocean. Sharks are in big trouble worldwide. A healthy ecosystem needs sharks as they control the intricate balance of our ocean's food webs. But populations of many species are at a small fraction of what they once were.
acidification is weakening reefs. The climate is having a severe effect. We're working hard to set baselines for change. It's a race against time. As we begin to understand our impacts, we're starting to reconnect, working together to conserve and protect our environment. Being inside the ocean changes people's perception and adds a greater sense of connection. Yeah, I see huge changes in the way um, uh, people think about conservation, their concept of uh, the new marine protected areas that have been developed and hopefully this is going to be one of the big success stories for the whole of Indonesia and a real example about how to do things. Develop a scheme not to make it as a marine protected area. It serves as a spawning ground, as a breeding ground. Because based on our experience, once uh, this uh, school of fish has uh, become uh, bigger, so they usually leave the marine sanctuary and being replenished by small ones, by new stocks. It's important that we all do everything we can now. What we do in the next 10 years will predicate what the Earth looks like for the next 10,000 years. Education is a catalyst for connection. It helps people understand and appreciate the value of marine ecosystems. It focuses on the mistakes we've made and the challenges ahead. Many of you have contributed to this journey. I can't thank you enough. The Our World Underwater Scholarship Society and Rolex have allowed me to look deep within myself and deep within the ocean. My mission is to continue the journey, share it with others and inspire meaningful change for our oceans and our future. Basic. Can I get a record? Uh, you're recording, huh? On your eyes. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So after a few hectic days of travel, I finally made it to the Maldives. Just sorry. Yeah. You got this one piece of hair. Oh, it's right. coming out like on the side. Uh, there's been an accident up here, so hopefully we'll make it there on time. It's an EV, uh, a Toyota EV. For me. For me, it was a mind-altering It was wow. To meet up with some of the most influential and important people. Oh, we are swimming as one. Yes. It's like you're almost symbiotic. I'm not symbiotic because I'm not giving her anything except respect. It's a huge relief to be away from the car horns, pollution, and rubbish-lined streets. <sighs> what happened? I got the guy with the wheelbarrow. <laughs> in this dusty little airport. Well, is, is it possible that you chat over there because mm. otherwise the recording picks up all your chatter? Yeah, uh, <laughs> <laughs>
and then like, just yeah. shake it around. Oh, yeah. Obama, Obama. <laughs> Obama, <laughs> Obama. <laughs>